guys, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to go through my entire tarot and oracle collection. Now it's not a huge collection, as you can tell I'm sitting still at my desk. Every single deck is on my desk right now. It's not a huge collection, but it's a wonderful collection and I'm super excited. So I thought I'd walk you through all of these um, because I haven't done a tarot video in a while. And I also talked today on the podcast about my new series, which is called Tarot Tuesdays, which if you haven't heard about that yet, head over to the podcast, Lifestyle. It is available everywhere you can get podcasts, and there's a link in the description of this video to listen to it on Anchor. But I want to show you guys some of my, not some of my, all of my decks, um, and just kind of talk through some of them and let you know what they're like. So I think I'm going to start with Tarot because that's probably what most of you are here for. So, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tarot decks, and I cycle through them pretty frequently. There are two I don't use as much, three, really three I don't use as much, um, and I'll kind of explain those as we go through, but I just want to kind of show you them. I'll pull a card out from each so you guys can see what the artwork looks like, um, and I will link them all in the description. Every single deck that I can still find, I will link in the description so you can go check it out for yourself. So, the first deck I have is the Wild Unknown Tarot, which I feel like everyone and their mother has seen this artwork. It is beautiful. Kim Cran's artwork is like heavenly. So, let me, the deck comes with, I think I'm gonna, when I reorganize my shelf, I'm gonna get rid of this box and just keep it in the smaller box with the guidebook on the shelf. But right now I have it in the full box. Um, and so it has a little inside box that looks like that. Um, and then, a lot of these decks might have the star on top from a post I did a while ago. Um, so that might be the card I show you for a lot of decks. But yes, so this is the star. It's just beautiful, really simple artwork. This is the Five of Cups. Look at that horse. It's so pretty. So yeah, I really like it. Um, oh, see now I just want to keep playing all these cards. That's the Lovers. So it has some really fun bright colors, but also just some really simple artwork. So, that is the Wild Unknown Tarot um, by Kim Kranz. Let me put that away. I, yeah, I just, oh, I'm so excited about this video, y'all, to show you all my beautiful decks. All right, next in my tarot collection, I have this. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, I don't read with it very often because it's kind of flimsy and I don't want to, because uh, it's, Literally just printed on cardstock because I bought it on Etsy. Um, it is a Game of Thrones deck, y'all. It's like definitely very flimsy. It's definitely just printed on cardstock and it literally came in this bag, but I love it. So we've got the Knight of Cups. Come on, focus. We've got the World, which literally is just Westeros. It doesn't want to focus, but it's there. Um, we've got Queen of Cups. It's just such a beautiful deck. But again, it's printed on just cardstock. It's very flimsy. Um, so I don't use it very often because I want to be able to use it for a while. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's my Game of Thrones tarot deck. I will link it. It's, it was from an Etsy shop, so if she still has it, I will link it. Um, yeah, if they still have it on their Etsy shop, I will link it. Next, this is a deck I really don't use that often. Not that I don't like it, I just don't really use it. That is the um, Llewellyn Tarot by um, Anna Marie Ferguson. It's a very pretty deck. It just doesn't resonate a ton with me. Um, it's not one that I just tend to reach for often. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't like the border. I think that's the biggest thing. So this is the Six of Cups and the Sun. I just really don't like that there's a border around them. It's really pretty artwork. I just, it doesn't resonate with me super well, but I still reach for it occasionally because I do think it's beautiful. Then we've got the Crystal Tarot um, by Philip Permut. Um, and the, I love the backs of these cards. It's got like beautiful crystals, but also I really like how light this deck is. Um, so we've got the Three of Cups, the Lovers. Seven of Pentacles. I just like the coloring on this. It's just really pretty, kind of whimsical. Um, and it has crystals on every card, and the guidebook is all about the crystal associations. Um, I really like this deck. It's one of my newer ones, and I really enjoy it. 
Then we've got my first deck, the Love of My Life deck. Um, it's not my favorite deck, but it's it's like special place in my heart deck, and that is the Witch's Tarot um, by Ellen Dugan. I'm obsessed with this deck. It's my baby. I get some of my best readings with it. Um, so let me show you some of the cards. Let me pick it up. Uh, we've got the Emperor, Four of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the tower. I love the tower. Three of wands. The star. I just, I love this deck. It's my baby. Um, I am obsessed with it. It is beautiful. So there's that. Um, then we've got just a basic Rider Waite deck. I'm not even going to bother opening this because if you clicked on a tarot video, you've seen this deck before. So I don't really read this ever. I never read the traditional Rider Waite deck and I know that's like weird, but I just I don't like it. I don't like the traditional Rider Waite deck. I like my pretty decks. Speaking of pretty decks, this is the Lightseers Tarot by Chrisanne. Y'all, this deck is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. It's a little hard for me to read with because it's, A, because it's new, so it's stiff, but it's also just really thick cardstock, which is nice, but it means this deck doesn't fit in my tiny hands very well. So, let's show you some cards. We got the Emperor, the World, look at how pretty. Ugh, oh, I love this deck. Two of Cups, beautiful. Um, This is the Wheel. <laughs> Ace of Wands, like just, I just want this artwork framed in my room. Knight of Pentacles. I'm gonna. I want to buy like a second of this deck so I can just hang up cards everywhere. This is a Chariot. I. The Sun. Like every card just makes me so happy. Um, I need to read this deck more so I can break it in because I want to be able to read with it like every day. But right now it's really it's really stiff because it's new. So I need to break this deck in a little more because I. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Y'all, I'm obsessed. But that's not my favorite deck. My favorite deck is the Crystal Visions Tarot by Jennifer Glosso. I love this deck. It's just, oh, it's stunning. The backs of the cards are beautiful, but the actual cards themselves are just, oh, so to die for. We got the Emperor, the Star. Like, look at that beauty. I love the star. The star's one of my favorite tarot cards ever, so. Um, five of Cups. Page of Pentacles up in that tree. Uh, six of Swords. Ace of Wands. The Empress. Like, it's just a beautiful deck. I won't go through every card, but I could because I love these decks so much. This video is going to be longer than I want it to be because I just... I have to gush about these decks and how much I love them. So that is the Crystal Visions Tarot by Jennifer Glosso. So those are my tarot decks, my eight tarot decks. Um, I love them all, honestly. Uh, if I didn't, I would have gifted them on to someone um, because I don't, you know, I try not to keep things that I don't love. So I love all those decks. They're wonderful. Um, but I just, some of them obviously call to me more than others, and so I use them. Okay, now we're moving on to Oracle. I think I also have eight Oracle decks. I think I'm even right now. Yes, there's eight of each. So let's go through these. First one we've got is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. This is also one of the first decks I got. Um, it again comes in a separate box on the inside. Um, I just really enjoy this deck too. So let's grab a few cards. Um, it's all different animals. I don't read with this one very often because it, it feels like it's a lot of memorization where a lot of my other decks that I'll show you um, are more easily intuited because they are like topics. Um, my Kim Cran's um, decks are a little bit harder for me to read with still. I'm working on them. Um, but I definitely love this deck. So again, just like um, the Wild Unknown Tarot, it's very, very beautiful but simple artwork. So we've got the whale, starfish, earthworm, peacock, snake, crow, dolphin. Yeah, that's just a beautiful deck. So that is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck, which I feel like everyone and their mother has and everyone and their mother loves because it is oh, so great. Um, let's stick with the Wild Unknown. Um, I also have the Archetypes deck, which I did a whole video on, um, but I'm still going to show you it because I want to open it and look at it because I haven't opened it in a while. <laughs> 
All right. So, Wild Unknown Archetype deck comes in a round box because the cards are round. It's so magical. The cards are round and their backs are like diamonds. Like, that's so cool. Um, so, this is another one. It has a ton of different, I did a whole video on it with the breakdown of like what each section of cards is, so I'll link that video down below. Um, so I don't have to re-explain all that right now, but it's just a beautiful deck. So we've got the castle, the tear, The Flame, Agape, The Mentor, which I love this card so much. I think I, this was the first one I did a reading with on my blog. The Orphan, The Kiss, it's just a beautiful deck. I love this deck. Um, again, not one I haven't, it's not one I've read with much, um, but I love it. It's so beautiful. Ugh, if it wants to close. Okay. Let's close that one. Um, I'm also gonna, I don't know why I still had the sleeve. <gasps> Put that in my garbage bag, okay. Um, next up we have the Numinous Astro Deck by Ruby Warrington, um, who's the founder of the Numinous, obviously. Um, and I haven't read this deck very much either, but I really enjoy it, it's a really nice um, astrology deck. So it has on it keywords, so this is one that's really easy to read because it not only has the good imagery, but it also has keywords as cards. So we've got the first house of self. Um, so it has, you know, keywords. So physical body, outlook, self-image, life philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, entry point. So it's, it's really easy to pick up and read with, even if you didn't have the guidebook. Um, Virgo, the alchemist. Ascendant, outlook. North node, destiny. Trine, flow, square, challenge. So again, it's based off of um, astrology, so all of the cards are different astrological um, aspects or planets or any, anything that has to do with astrology, much like this deck, which I read with every day right now, which is the Black Moon Astrology cards. This has been my oracle of the month for June. Um, I change up which oracle I read with every month, um, which one I read every day with. Um, so I don't know which one I'm gonna do next month yet. If you have an opinion, let me know. <laughs> Once I get through these, let me know which one you think I should read with for July. Um, but I really enjoy this one. This is another, like like the Numinous deck, it's all astrology based. Um, so we've got Uranus, which actually was yesterday's card maybe? Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio. Ironic that Pluto came right after Scorpio. <laughs> Gemini, so it's just a beautiful deck, um, and I've really been enjoying reading with that one every morning as my um, message from the cosmos for the day, and getting my affirmation from this deck. Um, next up, this is last month's deck. This is the deck I used in May, and that is the Goddess Power Oracle by Colette Baron reed It is stunning. This is the one that I read with every day for that month. Um, and it is all just goddesses of all sorts of mythologies. So we've got Parvati, um, Eostra, Metis, Sophia. It's very, very, very beautiful. Um, but yeah, that's the deck I read with literally every day last month. Um, and I really enjoyed it. All right. I really enjoy keeping these in the original packaging, but they're really hard to repackage sometimes. Okay, three more. The next two are both by Gabrielle Bernstein, um, and they're a little more affirmation card-like. Um, so the first one is Super Attractor, which was my April deck <laughs> that I read with. So it has just affirmations and beautiful artwork. So this one, um, when I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form. Each time I choose to tune into spirit guidance, to every, each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. As soon as I choose to see the light in dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. Oh, I love this one. I feel my way into faith one step at a time. It has a bridge. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. So it just has some beautiful, beautiful artwork and some beautiful, beautiful affirmations. So that is the Super Attractor deck. 
Oh, I guess I only have one camera over in Steam Deck right now. I thought I had two, but I don't. Oh no, I still need to order it. It's sitting in my cart still. It's fine. Okay, next one is a Rebecca Campbell deck. It is the Work Your Light Oracle Cards, which is another one that is um, beautiful and I love. I haven't read with this for a straight month before, but it's one of the first Oracle decks, if not the first Oracle deck I bought. Um, so it has kind of a guiding question or statement at the bottom of each card too, so it's also very easy to read with if you didn't have the guidebook with you. So you've got the Star Mother, How Can You Mother Yourself? Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. Take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. Yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful deck. <laughs> All right, and the last deck, which is one that um, I haven't read very much with, and that is the Greek Mythology Reading Cards by um, Allison Chester Lambert. Um, and again, just mytho it's all mythology, but this one is all, obviously all Greek. So we've got Laertes, Faithfulness, it all has like a keyword on it too. Aries, Warmongering. <laughs> Artemis, Goddess of Light. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Ooh, Athena, protect Protectress. Anyway, so that is that. I haven't read it very much. It's not one I'm super familiar with. Um, it's one of my newer ones that I have. So, those are all 16 of my Tarot and Oracle decks. I am obsessed with all of them, um, or else I wouldn't have them. But yes, if you have an idea of which deck I should, um, which Oracle deck I should read with for the month of July, let me know down below. If you have a deck that you didn't see my video that you think I would love, also let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!